Well, beautiful weather has been a big draw here all day, but with fireworks starting tomorrow night, sand sculpture contest Thursday, and school out next week, Hampton Beach is about to get a whole lot busier, and that means businesses have to have their hiring in place. But in this situation of such low unemployment, they have to get creative. Hampton Beach is about to explode with tourists. Businesses are excited, but facing a challenge. We're ready. Um, we certainly could use some more help. As everyone always says, uh, this summer it's a little bit light here on the beach for staff, so local kids getting out of school, we'd love them to come down and apply. With unemployment still at 2.7%, it's not for a lack of trying. We post on all types of Craigslist, Indeed, those types of websites. Like many businesses here, the Purple Urchin will get help from international students from Bulgaria and Serbia. The Boardwalk Cafe and Pub will house 18 J-1 visa students from Eastern Europe and the Dominican Republic to spread between its four locations. They've had to get creative these last few years. We have brought people up from the Florida area because this is their slower season. The most difficult jobs to fill? The hourly wage rather than a tipped position um, is, is more of a challenge at this point. Uh, are you having to kind of increase that hourly wage? We have in the last year and we did again this year as well. Returning college kids are still the anchor at well-established businesses. Taylor says everyone she knows already has a job and that it's the family environment at Sanborn's Candies that keeps her coming back. Does it help that you make tips? Yeah, it does. I mean, that's definitely a big, a big help, especially with college. Well, even the state has some slots for crews on the lifeguard and maintenance staffs, but a spokesperson says that they're already doing much better than they were last year. Reporting live at Hampton Beach, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.